Hello, my name is Chris from today. I'm going to show you how to install Pi-hole on Portainer. And we'll be using Portainer Stacks, which is Docker Compose underneath. So, um, a little bit about this series. I'm going over home labs or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. So I'm on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the description to get to it. So I'm going to go into Pi-hole on Portainer. I'd install Pi-hole on Portainer right here. And then I'm gonna need to clear port 53. So I'm gonna go into here, Big Bear Scripts. And then we'll be running this, so I'll copy it. And then I'm gonna go to disable DNS service.sh. This is the script that you'll be running. So check for root privileges. We're gonna check and show if there's anything listing on port 53. We're gonna ask the user for confirmation that they wanna proceed. And then if they do proceed with typing Y, then we will say disable and stop system D resolve service. And then we will say uh, disabled and stopped in the echo. And then we will check if port 53 is clear and if it is clear, it'll say uh, port 53 is clear. So I'm gonna get to uh, running this on my Ubuntu. Now I'm gonna run the clear port 53 script. So I'm gonna go into my LXC, then I'm gonna go to console, and then I'm gonna run it by pasting it in and then pressing return or enter. And here you go, it's saying systemd resolve is listening. So now we will type Y for yes and return or enter. And then it's going to say disabling and stop system D resolve service. And then it's going to confirm that it is disabled and stopped. And then it's going to check if port 53 is clear. And then once you get this, port 53 is clear now. We can go ahead well, with proceeding to install Pi-hole. So I'm going to start on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the description to get to it. So I'm gonna go to uh, how to install Pi-hole on Portainer right here. And then I'm gonna go to Docker and Pose. And then now I'm gonna explain it. So a uh, Docker and Pose uh, version is version three. And then services. And then the service name underneath the services is called Pi-hole. And then the container name is gonna be called Pi-hole. The image. It is coming off Docker Hub because there's no URL in the beginning of this, so it's defaulting to Docker Hub. It's uh, pile, pie hole, and then the version uh, and the tag is going to be 2023.52. So you can change the tag if there's a new version. So now expose and map ports. So I'm going to uh, map 5353 to 5353 5, on the UDP, so TCP and U UDP. And then, now the web port is gonna be exposed on 7300. You can ch change this if you'd like. And then on the cont co container is 80. So you can't change the containers port, but you can change the host port if you'd like. And then I wouldn't recommend changing the host port of the 53 though. And then now, Environment variables, so your time zone, set, set your time zone here, and then your web UI password, what you'll be signing in with, you can change this to another uh, password that's more secure than just password. And then now, mount volumes, I'm gonna ma mount a volume at data, pie hole, data, pie hole, and then in the container, it's gonna be etc pie hole. So the host is right here, the container is right here. So these will sync back and forth. So now data, pie hole data, DNS mask, and then inside the container is etc DNS mask dot D. So the host can be changed, the container cannot. I'm gonna set a restart policy, so unless stopped. So that means that if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart, but if it fails for any reason or any other reason, then it will try to restart. I'm gonna set some DNS servers for the re resolution, uh, internal resolution and external resolution. So there you go. Now I'm gonna go up here to copy raw file. And then 
I'm going to go over to Portainer and get this installed. So now that we've copied the Docker Compose, so I'm going to go into my Portainer, go to Home, Local, Stacks, and then I'm going to add a stack right here. And then I'm going to give the stack a name, so Pi-Hole Stack. And then I'm going to go into the web editor and I'm going to paste in the Docker Compose. And then now I'm going to deploy the stack. And this is going to be able to, uh, to download the Docker Hub uh, image from Pi-Hole Pi-Hole. And then it's going to download the tag and it's going to start it with Docker Compose in the background. So I'm going to go into stacks now. And you can see it's starting up. So you can go into editor and you can change this and then you can update the stack. Now, if you repull the image, it, it's going to repull the current tag down with a fresh image. So if for some reason the developer uh, updated that image tag, then you can just turn this on and then say update. So now we'll go in the container and you're going to see this running for a few seconds now. So you can go down here and you can see all the ports that, that are listening. And then you can go down here to see all the volumes that are created, their binds. And then now it's created a, a network for Pi-hole right here. Let's go in the logs and see. So we can see it is started now and it's listening on port 53 for the DNS. So I'm gonna go backwards so now we can get to seeing if the UI works. So we're now going to go to the UI now. So I'm going to go to the portainer's IP address. Then we're going to add 7300 onto the port. And then we're going to go to admin directory right here. So I'm going to press return or enter and go to it. Okay, we can see it's working. So we can put in our password. The password is the environment variable. So whatever you put in there, I think mine is password. So I'm going to go to login now. It looks like it's working. It's got 29 queries already. And you can see that uh, 193,509 are on the block list. So you can see which one were permitted. So now we can go in the query logs. We can see it's all from GitHub. And then you can see long-term data. You can see graphics, the query logs, and what the time range are. And then top list, groups, clients, domains. And you can add a block list uh, to where you can like go on uh, GitHub and find one. And um, there's all kinds of different block lists for Pi-hole. So you just put it in here and then it'll add to the, um, the count of what can potentially be blocked. You can disable blocking for a certain amount of time. You can set up local DNS to where you can have your own DNS resolver type of thing. And then CNAME records. You can go into tools and do diagnostics. You can go in settings. You can see the information and then you can change the DNS upstream servers. So you can go here and change it to Quaid 9 and Cloudflare. Then you can scroll down and press the save button. Then now it's saved. You can also use custom upstream DNS resolvers right here. You can go into start up a DHP server. You can uh, see the theme and layout of the UI. You can change it and then interface set, uh, settings and then per browser settings. And then now you can see an API to where you can show the API token right here. You can go into pri privacy and set the DNS resolver privacy level. You can go into teleporter and backup and restore. So that's how to get Pi-hole working on Portainer. So I just showed you how to get Pi-hole running on Portainer. I showed you the, uh, a very important part uh, of clearing port 53 so there's no port conflicts. 
And also, uh, if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our Discord. There's a link in the YouTube description. So, stay tuned for more.